Don't know why I'm drifting, I'm drifting so Out of my mind Hey guys, this is You versus Them for July 27th through August 3rd. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see. What is the goings on for you guys? What's been going on for you guys in the recent past? Got cards sticking and everything over here. What's been going on for my Geminis? Knight of Swords. We have something to say. I'm wanting to rush in. Something that I feel like you guys have, you know, you've had something on your chest for a while that you want to get off right now. Feeling anxious about it, for sure. I'm feeling like this this level of um, anger, too, coming from you guys. Maybe there's something you found out that, um, that you want to discuss with someone. What flipped over for them is a Three of Cups. This person has probably been going out, just having fun, visiting, I feel, drinking, just having a good old time. And then the Four of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. Aries, Cancer energy there. Let's see. What's been going on for the other person? The Chariot. This person has been moving forward. I feel like there is there have been a lot of, um, of accomplishments this person has experienced in the past. They're moving forward doing things um, for themselves here. Okay, I feel like most of their work, their progress has been within their home though. Is what I'm feeling like here. Cancer energy. <clears throat> What's currently happening for my Geminis? What's currently happening for my Geminis? The High Priestess. Huh. Is you go back and forth. You know, you, you feel like it in one moment you, you have a lot to say, you want to say something, and then in the next moment it's like, nah, it's probably best that I don't say shit. You know, keeping it to yourself, I feel, right now. Right now, I feel like, you know, you guys are in your feelings, and you're trying to really sort through your feelings, but you're not actually talking things out with anyone currently. Keeping things to yourself. <clears throat> What's currently happening, Piscean energy there? What's currently happening for the other person? The Nine of Cups. Doing things for themselves. Trying to be happy, I feel. I don't feel like this person is involved with anyone. I feel like right now, like I said, mostly their compliment, their accomplishments, shit, are within their home trying to keep everything afloat, trying to um, beautify their home even, maybe renovating, um, you know, getting children together if they have kids, just doing things that they feel like, you know, make them happy at this point. So very emotional, I feel like, um, but for the mo most part, this is a happy person. Whoever this is <clears throat> right now, Piscean energy. Let's see what's influencing Gemini situation. What's influencing Gemini situation? The Empress. Hmm. You know, I feel like you guys have grown up a lot, and not saying that you were children. What I mean is, if you were a person that overreacted or just said whatever was on your mind without thinking about it, I don't feel like you're that person anymore. And I think that's why right now you're coming as a high priestess because sometimes you know it's better to not say something right now. Knowing when to say it and how to say it. 
And I think, you know, you've had a lot of growth. I feel like you guys have been through a lot. And I feel like you're trying to turn over a new leaf here as the Empress. Um, you guys may have a family that you are caring for as well. But for the most part, I think you're trying just to... Um, you know, sustain yourselves and and open up new opportunities for yourself here. You guys may have started a new business or something like that. There's something that you're doing, I feel like, in the mundane that's like, it's got you covered, like, emotionally, on an emotional level, but you still, you know, think back to the past and this person looking back reflecting thinking about this person what could be what you might want to say to them what you should say to them if you should say anything at all hmm. I feel like you're still working on you and that's probably why you haven't said anything to this person let's see <clears throat> what's influencing the situation with the other person Three of Pentacles. Mm. This person is working with people. Definitely. But I feel like they're all about compromise and hearing the other person out, realizing that people are different. I'm just getting this. This person also has turned over a new leaf. If um, if you feel like everything was one-sided and this person just wanted, you know, their point of view heard, I feel like this person is more at a point where they are more considerate. They're doing what's best for them right now, but I definitely get that if they were very selfish before, I feel like, you know, they're more considerate. If you guys wanted to have a conversation, I feel like they will be willing to hear you out for sure. Capricorn energy here. Willing to listen. They've learned to get along and work with people. I don't know if this person is currently involved. I don't think so. I think this is more, like I said, about their home life. Um, maybe a job. Maybe um, a career that they have started or have like thrown themselves into. What's coming in for Gemini? Ten of Wands, a lot of hard work. Carrying the burden all on your own. Needing to take a rest. You guys are tired. I feel like you're tired. I feel like some of you are overworking. But I also feel like this situation is draining for you, thinking about it. Maybe it's time to take some action if that's what you feel like you need to do. Because I'm, I'm feeling like this like drained, um, overwhelmed energy. What's coming in for the other person? It's time to get something off your shoulders here. Get something off your chest, rather. The King of Pentacles. This person's working really hard. They're working really hard. You guys are a match here, too. This person's trying to build a legacy for themselves. I feel like there's something that they started in the past that is turning out to be very fruitful for them whatever it is and I feel like that's a business or something that they started and it's very fulfilling to them their home life is fulfilling and their business is fulfilling to them their the relationship aspect I don't feel them really concentrating on that right now I don't feel like there's anybody else involved I do feel like this is a relationship person though a family oriented person, somebody that likes commitment, likes stability here. <clears throat> Let's see what the outcome is for you guys. What is the outcome for Gemini? 
Two of Pentacles. Yeah, um, you guys have a lot on your plate. There's a lot that you're trying to do, that you're trying to accomplish. But the end of the week, I still feel like, you know, you're going back and forth about what's going on with this person. And you really need to decide whether or not you want to start over and compromise with this person. This is the bottom line for you guys. This is dead center with the Empress and the Three of Pentacles. Can you work this out? Can this be worked out between the two of you here? I think that's what's bothering you so. It's because there's something that you guys want to say, but right now you're at the point where you feel like it's best that you don't say it. But I definitely feel like you want to have growth here. The Empress is number three, and we have the Three of Pentacles here. You definitely want to see growth with this person, but I don't see any moves being taken um, to initiate growth in this situation. I see you thinking about it for sure. It's weighing heavily on you, but still, you know, you haven't made a decision um, concretely about what this that you want to do. What is the outcome for the other person? The Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. They have a King of Pentacles and a Knight of Pentacles. This person is very careful about what it is that they say and what it is that they will do. Um, I don't see them making any moves towards you. I don't see you guys making any moves towards them. I think that this person is not really leery, but they are very um, cautious about any moves that they make. They have to have a plan and they have to weigh their options and weigh the positives and the negatives in a situation here so but again i feel like um this person may be oblivious to the fact that you guys are even thinking about them at this point because what i'm getting here is that this person is more focused on their home right here and their finances Okay, they're not necessarily focused on a relationship, but I get that they're open to a relationship. They're open to discussing plans, um, contracts, what have you. Very open, I feel, this energy down here. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, um, Cancer, Pisces energy, Sagittarius is here, Libra, Aries, um, and Aquarius. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card since I have for every other sign. Let's see. What message do we have for Gemini? Please show me a message for Gemini. Okay, there we go. Romance Angels. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Whatever that means for you. Whatever that means for you. It could be um, drugs. It could be um hmm. it could be anger issues I'm feeling too it could be complacency wanting somebody to really show emotion um to make the other one feel better it could be a number of things that this means for you guys but just remember codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life could be a sexual addiction any number of things pick one you guys know your situations and um that is what i have for you guys and i'll be speaking with you soon bye now uh, i've been blind too long now i finally see the real and fake who's down for me yeah. The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?